Welcome to our Flow Arts tutorial on how to facilitate a fire show. What's up, Flummies? Welcome to a very special presentation and video here on the Sacred Flow Art channel. I'm Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal. Today, I'm at Cuevas del Ilalo, a recreation center found just outside of Quito, Ecuador, where I'll be training our fifth fire spinning team on the Unite the World firsthand drive around the whole world global movement. This video is dedicated to my newborn daughter Prana. Catherine and I just had the delivery three days ago and we're super excited. The Sacred Space will be doing a lot of different activities so stay in touch be sure to like and subscribe this video, hit the notification bell to come back for ever more tutorials and videos on Flow Arts Fire Spinning. Today we'll be focusing on how to host your own professional fire show. Now professional shows can come in a wide variety, so we'll just consider this one a very low-key beginner professional gig. The first thing that you'll always want to do is set up the space. Make sure that your fire spinning equipment is well away from where you'll be doing the fire show as well as away from the safety area. Typically we'll put them quite a ways from each other, usually on opposite sides of the performance area. The dipping station or where you'll be fueling should be well out of the way of the audience and making sure that no one will ever come in contact with it, especially the fire. The two most dangerous things when performing fire is poor fuel management and poor audience management. So if you're managing the fuel well and you have not too rowdy of an audience, and if you do, you have a security guard to make sure that the audience stays clear from the performance and fueling area. Absolutely always have a fire extinguisher on hand and make sure your entire team knows how to use it. Be sure to check out our video up here in the cards on your first fire spin so you can learn about all the different safety protocols that you'll need in order to do a safe burn. Communication is key. Make sure you and all of your team as well as the people who are hiring you are well aware of what is to be expected. How long are you gonna fire spin for? How many people will be at the event? What will the cost be? Can you have a tip jar? What will be the arrangement as far as when you'll be paid? The more things that you can get clear up front with who is hosting the event, the better. We always recommend that you show up and check out the space a minimum of one day before the show to make sure that it's a space safe enough for fire spinning. Be sure to do a warm up with your team to set up the right vibe in your inner space to help keep organized your external space. With the fire and the audience, a lot of energy is generated and it's easy to lose track. And at that point, when you start to lose track of things, that's when mistakes can happen. If you can focus on a meditation, some yoga, breathing and stretching and moving, just to energize and calm yourself ahead of time so that when the show starts, you can keep an even head about everything. And if something goes wrong, you're able to focus on how to get it resolved as quickly and safely as possible. We also recommend that with the communication, you have everything written out in a document, some form of official contract so that the event coordinator knows exactly what to expect in all its details. Even if it's something friendly, it really helps for you to be able to know going into it what is going to go down throughout the entire experience. That way also, everybody involved is able to communicate to who is going to come what they can expect as well. This will enable you to be not only organized, but seen as more professional. Something that's always been significant for me and my shows is the sound. If you're going to be having music played, be sure to do a sound check before the show begins. Present yourself and get to know your audience so they love you as well as your fire performance. And finally, honor the flame. 
Always have a starting flame with you, even if it's just a lighter, and take a moment with yourself, with your team, and perhaps with the audience to honor this very sacred entity. Not treating the fire like it's something dead or something that doesn't have some sort of consciousness. Give it some sense of respect with the spoken word to acknowledge it as a member of your crew. And don't let the flame die out. Maintain a consistent level of energy and be sure that the audience enjoyed it and wants you back again. Thanks for watching. Learn more about fire spinning by selecting one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe. This video was created by Full Circle Phenomenal. Check out more at fullcirclephenomenal.com.